The iPhone's native document viewer is fairly good, but it's no business tool since you can't edit. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt with CNAdownload.com. Here's a first look at documents to go for iPhone and iPod Touch version 1.0. This viewer and sometimes editor comes in two flavors. There's the basic, which costs $4.99 at the time of the recording, and the more advanced documents to go with exchange attachments. That one costs $9.99, about $10. We'll take a look at both in this video. Documents to go reads Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents, PDFs, and iWork documents too. It can also create and edit Microsoft Word files with support for Excel coming next. It remains a viewer for the other file types, but a faithful one. It beautifully renders images and charts. In both models, you're able to create, edit, and email Word documents. You can also save, cut and paste, and format the text and paragraphs with color. Keep sliding the toolbar to see more options, like finding a word in the page and clicking undo. With the more basic app, you can transfer files through a USB connection or by creating a Wi-Fi network between your desktop and the iPhone. If you upgrade to the version supporting Microsoft Exchange, you can also view attachments from your inbox. But first, you'll have to create a new inbox within Documents to Go and specify how far back you'd like to scan your email. Two weeks, for example. Then you can just tap the message and the document to view and save. While all the features worked really well in our tests, we're anxious to see broader editing capabilities on par with Documents to Go for other mobile platforms, like editing and creating a wider variety of documents. Also, the workaround with Exchange can be frustrating for some to set up. In addition, we'd love to grab attachments for other webmail inboxes like Gmail. Still, it's a way in for business users, and it's a little cheaper than the Quick Office Mobile Office Suite, which can also, to its credit, edit and create Excel documents. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt, and this has been version 1.0 of Documents to Go for iPhones.